All right, uh, guys, hello. Good evening. Welcome to this session whereby I'm discussing what are the important subtopics for every single topic. I'll try to go through it quickly, but sometimes even quickly also it takes a while, okay? So first of all, I want to tell you all that you all are considered to be very lucky. STPM SAM 12024 students, sir. Huh? So why am I so lucky? Okay, let me share screen and show you why. Now, the main thing is this. Of course, they changed the schedule, not only for you guys, but for the SAM 3 students as well. SAM 3, they delayed it. I think it stretches all the way to, if I'm not mistaken, 23rd March, uh, 23rd April, 23 hari bulan April. Eh? Anyways, guys, never before in the history of STPM. Now, when I say history, I'm not talking about 40, 50 years ago because your this new syllabus started, I think, around, around 2012. Lah. Around 2012. Until now, never before have they stretched out the five subjects eh, in such a manner whereby... Okay, by the time I upload this, uh, it would be a uh, Saturday. So Saturday, meaning next Tuesday, you'll be sitting for Bio 1. Then following week would be Chem 1. Then another uh, week would be PA 1 on Monday and Math 1 on Tuesday. Okay, guys, never before they stretch out like that. Normally, it's a very typical, guys, it is a very typical PA math. PA math on one day, bio one day, then chemistry one day. So, katakan, let's say PA math is here. Friday, they rarely ask, uh, they rarely test students. Uh. So, if let's say math PA is here, bio will be here, chem is here. Within that, few working days, few schooling days, everything will be clear. So guys, make use of this opportunity to really maximize your revision. Okay, that's why I told all my, uh, I think uh, this batch I have about, I think 50 to 60 STPM students. I told them you have to maximize your productivity. This is an advantage that you have to capitalize on. Okay, first thing. Second thing. Now, like I said, by the time you're watching this, uh, I just have one advice for you as far as bio is concerned. So how to revise? How to revise? Number one, de depending on your progress, if you find that you still have the capacity to try questions, go ahead. But normally one day before your actual paper, which is 22nd. I don't recommend that you all try questions, but to be frank, if possible, I would say you guys shouldn't try any new questions. So for tomorrow and also Monday, what I would really recommend is you browse through. You browse through the questions which you have done before, be it past year or trial paper, current year trial paper or past year trial paper. Okay, guys, browse through. Like, like personally, I went through past year question with my students, 2005 to 2010 even. There was there were two classes whereby we purposely do this five-year stretch of questions just for term one. Just for term one. Yeah, and I also give them from 2013 all the way to 2020. Passive you have to do so that you know roughly where you stand. Okay, for the last and most important thing, guys, browse through the questions and go through every subtopic if possible. My job today is to, is to let you know which one you should start with first. Oh, start with this. After that, the next one, then C, so on and so forth. Huh? So this is my role for today. I'm here to facilitate you on which one to study first. I'm not really here to give you tips. I'll tell you why in a moment. I'll tell you why tips don't really work now. Yes, tips may work five years ago, but now no more. Now no more. Okay. And one last thing. 
just in case any one of you are keen to join my Sam2 class, it starts on the 6th, right after Math 1. <laughs> I told my students, I don't care. I don't care. After you finish Math 1, you better come for tuition. Because why? Bio, Sam 1, Sam 2, and Sam 3 is a different ball game altogether. Sam 1 is okay. Sam 2 is, if you were with me for Sam 1, if you are with me for Sam 1, Sam 2 is long, Sam 3 is deep. Okay, may sound like something else, but it's actually not, guys. <laughs> Sam 1 is okay one, very okay. Sam 2 is very long, guys. I told them, no time to waste. Sam 3 is short, but quite deep. Meaning, you really require a lot of kefahaman, understanding. Okay, so uh, uh, my, my Sam 2 first class will begin on the 6th of February. Every Tuesday from 5.30 to 7, uh, 7, 7 p.m. Every Tuesday. And for those who are wondering about fees, I'm very transparent. The fees is only 70 per month. And recording will be kept until your Sam 2. Okay? Okay, guys. With that, on that note, let's look at the, the analysis right away. Yeah? So what you should have with you is my analysis, not analysis, like the breakdown of what came out from the year 2013 all the way to last year, 2023, a 10-year, very complete analysis. Okay. So first thing to talk about, guys, first thing to talk about is this. Huh? First thing to talk about is this. Uh, number one. Okay, number one, will there be repeat of questions? Will there be repeat of questions? Guys, the answer is yes and no. Yes and no. Okay, why yes is because two reasons. Two reasons. Reason number one, we are, we are reaching the end of the cycle for this set of Syllabus. Some of you may have heard of rumors. Maybe 2024 Sam 1 is a new, new Sukatan altogether. Maybe this rumor has been since last year. I'm not sure whether you have heard of it. Maybe yes, maybe no, but recently I, I never uh I've never gotten any update on it. So let's see, right? Let's see. Now reaching the end of the cycle, meaning most of the questions that are supposed to be asked have already been asked. Most questions have been asked. So it's very natural for them to repeat. Okay. Number two, no. Oh, actually, this one falls under the no. Uh, yes, can repeat, but no, because normally less than 5% repetition. Guys, around five, I would say around 5% repetition. It won't be like, wow, half the paper is completely the same as last year, guys. It's a national paper. It's a national paper which after you finish Sam 1, 2, 3, it is used to apply it to, a, to a, the varsity that you want. It won't be of such uh, substandard quality. So repetition got, but 5%? Definitely less than 10. Uh, definitely less than 10. Uh, just a very simple one. Look, uh, from year to year, the things they repeat is very little. Have a look. Have a look. Okay, for example, last year, 2023, they asked non-competitive inhibitor, which came out in 2022. Guys, I tell you straight, this was the only thing they repeated. This was the only thing they repeated. Very minimum, uh, very minimum. Okay, when I talk about repeat questions, I'm not talking about the past five years. Guys, I'm just talking about the past year. Because why? Because of this. Most questions have been asked since uh, this syllabus have been running for 10 years. Okay, 10 years, uh, 10 papers plus limited topics. I think whatever should have been asked have been asked. Right? Okay, so yes and no, can repeat, but normally not much, right? guys, normally not much. Which brings me to my next point. Frankly speaking, most of the questions are. Uh, for last year, 
95% chance cannot repeat. 90 lah. Guys, let's all put 95. Most of the questions are 90% chance cannot repeat. So to those who score, uh, say, 50 marks for bio, 40, 50, if your marks is that lower, guys, there are many different categories of students. Let's say your marks is around 50 marks. You can choose to don't study all this first. Ah. Don't study all this first. Keep it at the end if you have time. Okay? But if you are a good student, so I want to score A, you know the drill. You should be studying everything. Guys, because it's semester system, only six topics. Yeah. One more thing before I start to go through the whole thing topically. If they really want to repeat, there are two ways. Uh. Guys, there are, there are two ways of how uh, they can repeat. Uh, by right, uh, guys, by right, uh, uh, structure to essay, essay to structure. But if you see last year, last two years, in fact, I would say maybe there was one more question. Last three years, uh, now they even ask essay to essay which means we are really reaching the end of the cycle. Number one. Number two, they can ask the same subtopic, but very different questions. Ah. Same subtopic, but different questions. Okay. All right. With that, uh, I require from here on, I require maybe all the color pens you have and also highlighter. Guys, uh, up to you how you want to structure it. Ah. Yeah. When it comes to uh, colored pens, highlighter, my biggest problem is sometimes with the boys. Last time I remember STPM got one class. Long time idea. Like, the boy only bring one pen. One blue pen. I'm like, where's your pencil box? Sir, my pencil box is my pocket. When it comes to tuition, hui, it's blue pen. Then habis tuition, hui, keep back to the pocket. <laughs> like businessman, that guy. Okay, come, let's start. So, guys, let us focus on chapter one first. So, I'm going to roughly go through with you what came out. And then, what is the more important subtopic for this year? So, I'm going to start off by using blue color. So, if you look at 2023, guys, they ask about fibrous protein and globular protein. Then, they ask about denaturation and the process. Okay. As for 2022, they ask carbohydrate, alpha, beta, glucose. I always tell students they can ask you how to draw. In my class, I drill my students on how to draw alpha glucose, beta glucose, ribose, deoxyribose, fructose, just in case. And if you know how to draw alpha glucose, you know how to draw maltose. Just join together to form the alpha but uh, one for glycosidic bond. Okay. As for 2021, they ask about nucleic acid. 2020, guys, 2020, uh, don't have. Oh, God, God. Differentiate polar, non polar, guys. And then 2019, this one, this one got a bit. Uh, breakdown formation of maltose. 2018, 2018, 2017, how structure of collagen is formed. This one possible to repeat. Collagen definitely possible to repeat. Uh, cholesterol 2016, starch 2014, then 2013, uh, sorry, 2015, then 2013 and 2014. Okay. So guys, these are the things that have been asked. Now, anything before, honestly speaking, anything before 2022, I suggest you must know all of it. Lah, because got a chance to repeat. Lah. Got a chance to repeat. But anyways, for chapter 1. Okay, uh, and talking about repeat. Lah, the one which have high chance to repeat is definitely collagen, cholesterol, Okay, collagen, cholesterol, uh, starch. 
uh, DNA RNA, DNA RNA. So how you can make use of this paper is as you revise topically, as you study, you finish, then you can ask yourself, uh, can I, am I able to compare amylose and amylopectin? What's the similarity? What's the differences? How's the structure? Okay, so if you are able to come up with most of the points, you are quite safe. Ah. Are you able to differentiate polar, non-polar? What spe special method do you have? Okay, collagen, how to explain? Okay, maltose, how to form? So this is how you test yourself using this paper. I always tell students, if most of the question you can handle, that's how you know you are ready for exam, SAM1 bio or SAM2 bio. All right, guys. Now, chapter one, the very top of the list. Uh, again, uh, this is not tips. This is what is important to cover first before all else. Uh. Guys, I would say water, very easy. Water and lipid. Water and lipid. Now, water, you just have to study the two things, which is chemical properties and also physical properties. That will take you maybe five minutes only. All right. High latent heat of vaporization, uh, it's uh, transparent, uh, V-shaped. Uh. Okay. How's the density if it's in solid uh, or liquid? Then for lipid, you have to study triglyceride. Phospholipid. Of course, of course, phospholipid, they like to ask about lecithin. Okay, the structure must be steric, olic, and then there's a choline on top as a group. Steroid. Okay, uh, cholesterol, testosterone. Must know how to draw as well. The structure must know how to draw as well. So guys, for this three, please study the structure and function. Please study the structure and function. So for this one, likely put to come out is mostly in assay or structure. I would say at structure more than assay. Structure more than assay. Yeah, structure more than assay. So have they asked before in assay this one? Uh, yes, but long, long time ago. I can tell you 2009. STPM 2009. Okay, first thing. Now, second thing, depending on whether they want to, they can relate analytical techniques to other topics. Obviously, the two analytical techniques include paper chromatography. Guys, they can relate to bug 6, the pigments. And they can ask you about electrophoresis. They can ask you about electrophoresis. Huh? Guys, 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 nucleic acid. Nucleic acid. There are two. RNA, DNA. Of course, you have to know the purine, pyrimidine. All right. Now, in short, there are three types of RNA. RRNA tRNA as well as mRNA. But guys, you will learn it very detailed in semester three. So any one of you here, you have been trying to choke yourself with all the points about the three different function. Just take it as one function. It is involved in protein synthesis. Maybe you can learn a little bit of the codon and codon. Enough, baby. All these three are finally involved in protein synthesis. Okay. Guys, uh, structure and function of a uh, structure of DNA, and of course they can compare. Okay, uh, carbohydrate, carbohydrate. Of course, monosaccharide is easy. As monosaccharide is easy, uh, disaccharide is easy. If they really want to test you, I think it's been a while since they tested students on polysaccharide. Now, finally, protein. Guys, finally, protein. Protein, you have to study the structure, the two types, and also whether the, and the composition, whether it's pure protein, 100% amino acid or not. Okay, structure, fibrous, 
globular. Oh yeah, by the way, this already came out last year. Last year already came out. Okay. And is it, and the type, uh, is it polar? Is it basic? Is it uh, SCD, non-polar? So guys, make sure you go through these five things before all the rest. This is for chapter number one. Chapter number one. Next, I'll use a different color for chapter two. Okay, chapter two. Uh, chapter two is a very, can be a tiring topic. Guys, why? Okay, I'm saying it from a teacher's point of view, not really student's point of view, but students, you also know lah, to study bug two, it really takes up a lot of things. Really take up a lot of energy. Take up energy, never mind. This is the fun part. But not, not so fun for you, ah. guys. Not so fun for you, ah. Okay, chapter two, ah. See, ah. Chapter two, ah. Uh, chapter two is the one that two and three, lah. They ask the least, ah. Guys, every year, they will miss out one topic, lah. Meaning one topic won't be asked. But you have to study all as well, lah, anyway, ah. Look, last year, they came out. The plant tissues. 2022, the three types connective tissue and then synthesis of protein. After that, chapter, uh, sorry, year 2021, don't have. But two don't have. And what else? 2020, nah, this one got parenchyma. 2019, epithelial. 2018, I suspect, don't have. 2017, parenchyma again. 2016, structure of xylem. 2015, don't have. 2014, question 17. 2013, don't have. Yeah. So guys, these are the topics. Uh, I mean, these are the out of 10 years, 4 years, they didn't really ask. Lah. They didn't really ask. It's a long topic, so need a lot of your focus. Lah. Okay, chapter 2. What, what is important? Okay, for chapter 2, it's not according to sequence, lah, but because it's a long topic, and normally for chapter 2, I don't recommend students to jump here and there. Because too long topic, you jump here and there is even more confusing because there are too many components. Okay? So guys, uh, since I'm not going to number it, I'll just gonna, I'm just going to write the dash. Huh? So guys, at the start, you must know how to compare prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. Next, principles of microscope don't take for granted. Okay, microscope got light microscope, electron microscope, phase contrast microscope. Uh, you have to know basic principles. Uh. Basic principles meaning how does it work exactly? What does the condenser do? Okay, uh, focuses the light on the specimen. specimen. Then the objective lens, la, so on and so forth. Guys, after you have covered this, make sure. Now, organelles, uh, like it or not, mitochondria must be on the list that you want to study because they can relate to chapter 5. And straight away, you know the next one is chloroplast because they can relate to chapter number 6. Besides these two, guys, Golgi, ER, Lysosome. All this you have to study the structure and function. These are the few main ones. If you have extra time, of course, go through the rest. Differential centrifugation. Centrifuge. Send, ah, 
centrifugation. All right, what else? They can also ask, they can also ask uh, ground tissue and vascular tissue. This one will be more to the structure, you guys. Muscle. Okay, muscle. The three types of muscle, the structure again. Okay, what else? Compact bone and cartilage. Huh? Yes, again, because it's a long topic. Compact bone, cartilage, and then epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue be the earlier part. Huh? So guys, these are the things that you have to study first for chapter 2 before all else. Now, coming to chapter 3. Guys, chapter 3, right. Chapter 3 is the one that they ask the least because already asked everything. Last year, no chapter 3. The previous year, no chapter 3. The year before, got chapter 3, water potential. Okay, even before that, don't have chapter 3. Guys, uh, chapter 3 is here, facilitated. But they didn't ask chapter 1, I think. Oh god, a little bit. Uh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They asked all. So no missing topics. But for 201, Eight, lipid component in plasma membrane. 2017, no bulk tree. And 2016, got chapter 3, got chapter 3, 1, 5, got chapter 3, got chapter 3. So chapter 3 is a very short one. Guys, chapter 3 is a very short topic. Chapter 3, uh, like it or not, uh, don't care whatever year Chalun you are, water potential is a must. Water potential is a must to know. Guys, water potential, they can ask you three types of question. Three types of question. But, but uh, today I'm not going through the, the facts. Lah. Yeah. Uh, to be fair to my existing students, uh, I already spent how many hours? Uh? I spent like three hours to revise with them as well. Topically, like teach again, teach again. Yeah. Uh, like for example, I just, okay. Three types of questions they can ask you. They can ask you the most general one using the formula. Water potential is the sum of pressure potential, solute potential. They just give you one of it, you have to figure out the other one. Second type of question, they give you two cells. They tell you at equilibrium, what's the water potential? Question three. Question three. They can say in distilled water. In distilled water. How to know the example... Uh, one of the potential uh. <clears throat> but you have to know that water potential in distilled water is zero guys a lot of shortcut one what can you tell me at full tergo full tergo guys full tergo water potential is zero k1 equals to k2 one shortcut another one guys what can you tell me about incipient plasmolysis do the moment you see an incipient plasmolysis, meaning just touch the cell wall or just about to pull away, you must immediately know pressure potential is zero. Okay. Guys, during full plasmolysis, how? Full plasmolysis, how? K1 equals to K2 as well. Okay. So there are a lot of shortcuts. Huh? This is the few. Huh? After you have cleared water potential, guys, bulk transport you have to know. Bulk transport include the endocytosis, exocytosis.
and number three, plasma membrane, guys. Plasma membrane is the easiest to study because all you have to cover is... Oh, by the way, try to get to know how to draw one side. Then from here, please go through the function of protein, cholesterol, phospholipid, glycoprotein. Okay, cell cell recognition. Lah. Guys, so this is for chapter 3. This is for chapter 3. Because, like I said, they already asked most of the things that they have wanted. So, uh, a bit lesser. Lah, yeah. So, this uh, last two years, they didn't ask. Last two years, they didn't ask. Okay, guys, chapter 4. I'm going to use green color now. Let's look at what came out. Uh, the past few years. Last year, they asked this. Effect of non-competitive inhibitor. Then, good news, biosensor already asked. So, 90% chance cannot come out. Compare competitive, non-competitive. And then, line weaver bird plot related to non-competitive. Guys, denaturation of enzyme, biosensor, enzyme immobilization. In fact, enzyme immobilization came up quite a number of times. Okay, the three cofactor, competitive, non-competitive again. Uh, then here, enzyme immobilization. Oh, I missed out on chapter two here. Oh, yeah. Chapter two, I, I changed for purpose. Ah. Sorry. Okay, then 2007, don't have, okay, eh? chapter 4, right, yeah, yeah, sorry, chapter 4, chapter 4, cofactor, chapter 4, chapter 4, enzyme immobilization again, eh, I should think it, sorry, wrong color, wonder felt so weird, green color, green color, green color, okay, Yeah, they didn't ask. Chapter 4. Alright, uh, guys, let's discuss what is important for chapter number 4. Okay, chapter 4, guys, induce fit hypothesis. Induce fit hypothesis. They they ask once so far. They ask once, and my suggestion is for induced feed hypothesis, please refer to this past year question. The answer I think it's not bad, like it's quite complete. Induced feed, ah. Induced fit. There, there was one particular year, lah, guys. They asked lock and key hypothesis and then induced fit. Ah, no, no, no. Here, 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 guys. Uh, 2015. 2015. Yeah. Uh, that day, a student asked me, Sir, how to know whether write induced fit or lock and key hypothesis? They'll let you know what, if they want lock and key. Yeah, they'll let you know. But normally, few points is induced feed. Ah, induced feed. The, the enzyme will adjust so that the substrate is com the active site is complementary to the substrate. Okay, next. Guys, KM VMAX line weaver, I know they asked, but because two years ago got slight chance can repeat. Ah. Always remember, this is the Negative 1 over Km, then this is 1 over Vmax. Number 3, guys, cofactor. Number 4, classification of enzymes. This is quite important. Uh. Now, classification of enzyme, be very clear. You just need to know three things. The type of reaction that it catalyzes. Okay, function and that as well as example, this three. 
then the enzyme immobilization. Uh, Enzyme immobilization. Very hot in repeating. Uh. Then you got extra time, please go through the rest. Please go through the rest. The but but uh, inhibitor, I think very thorough. The inhibitor came out very thorough. Guys, chapter five and six. Chapter five and six. Let's use uh orange we use it here. Yeah? Light blue. Okay, last year came out, describe production of ATP. And then this one is the strain, this one is the muscle cram. Okay, the year before, aerobic respiration. Then 2021, aerobic. And then cyanide. Prep cycle, vigorous activity. Chapter... Chapter, uh, sorry, 2018, chapter 5 is on question 17, glycolysis, electron transport chain. Yeah, they give a general picture for this one. And then chapter, uh, sorry, year 2016, this one, EPS, aerobic and fermentation, prep cycle, this one, last one here. Without using glycolysis, describe how energy could be produced. So this is the this was the shocker. Lah. Yeah, even I remember that particular year, I never expected this to come out at all. Okay, guys, I think you would agree with me that chapter five you have to read everything, ah, guys. It doesn't make sense to what study glycolysis don't study Krebs cycle. Uh. Uh, study glycolysis don't study Krebs cycle. Uh. So chapter five. Oh, I think I'll use this. I'll use what? Uh, light blue. Okay. For chapter five, because everything has been asked before. As everything has been asked before, just read through everything uh, like policies, prep cycle, ETS, ETC, anaerobic for human and plants, ATP production, how many ATP is produced, uh, fat, fat, how to get energy. From fat and protein. One of the year they ask, uh, how can a person get energy if he is starving? So it's this one. Uh, how, how to use fat or protein to get energy? This one is towards the end of the topic already. Okay, guys. What else? This one. This is light purple. Uh. Okay, chapter six. Chapter six. Chapter 6, Hatch and Slack already came out. Hatch and Slack already came out. Sadly, la, sadly. La. Light independent. Okay, light independent reaction. Cyclic. After that would be photosynthesis. C3, C4. Cyclic, non-cyclic. Metabolic pathway, this one, hatch and slag. Right, this one, no chapter 6. No chapter 6. This is 5. Uh, okay. So, guys, for chapter 6, for chapter six, or oh, I think I revise with you lah, guys. I revise chapter five with you, ah. The the like policies, ah. STPM.
So this is the slide that I use in my normal class. Okay, this is the slide that I use in my normal class. Now, glycolysis, I taught my students to use this method. To use this method. Use the story of glycolysis. The whole process we divide into two parts. Uh. The first part is the story. Glucose is phosphorylated twice before second time change to its isomer. If you understand the process, you should we get all oh, glucose six become uh fructose six, huh? Then after second time split, guys, look, glucose phosphorylated twice before Kali Kedua, before second time change to isomer. After that split, after that split. So glucose, glucose 6, fructose 6, fructose 1, 6, bisphosphate, glycosodaldehyde phosphate. Eh? And then from here, guys, and then from here, you have to use this method. Girl, got, 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 peperiksaan. Got, 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 got. Guys, uh, Got, 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 got. BP, 3P, 2P. And with pyruvate. Join all together. And then from there, the side chain. Uh, guys, from there, the side chain. Uh, okay. Uh, it is oxidized in organic phosphate added. Guys, dephosphorylation, removal of phosphate. And change to isomer. Glycerate 3 becomes glycerate 2, removal of water, D phosphorylation to form pyruvate. Okay. I, I'm going through this very quick. Uh, this one I've done with my students minimum 7 8 times. Minimum 7 8 times. And of course, enzymes are very crucial as well at the start. Now, I would always recommend that you all study half half. La. Get to know the half and then the other half. So here we have hexokinase. Phosphoglucoisomerase because changed to isomer. Then phosphofructokinase. Here is aldolase. But, uh, guys, how to remember these two enzymes? Very easy because dihydroxyacetone, glyceraldehyde, what's the similarity? Both are triose. So, Triose phosphate isomerase, triose phosphate dehydrogenase. Okay. Uh, yeah, from glycerate 1, 3 bisphosphate, phosphoglycerokinase will catalyze. If you know this, you know the next one. This is kinase, here mutase, and then anolase, pyruvate. Okay. Even Krebs cycle also got method. Guys, Krebs cycle, the enzyme also got method. Let me, oh, sorry. Let me just show you the enzyme. Uh, because I don't have time to go through the whole thing. Uh. I'll just go through the enzyme part. Guys, the enzyme, right? The enzyme I taught my students, the enzyme I taught my students to remember this way, whereby you half out this weird rectangle here, this weird uneven rectangle. So why do we need to remember this rectangle? Oh, and by the way, this rectangle is where the, all the oxidation take place. Oxidation, 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 oxidation. Because all this oxidation involve the hydrogenase. So I'll just write here. Uh, the hydrogenase, the hydrogenase, the hydrogenase, the hydrogenase. Okay. And you just use the word before it. Use the word before it. If this is the process, Isocitrate dehydrogenase. Guys, here alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. Succinate dehydrogenase. 
merely dehydrogenase. Okay, so this for done. Next, right opposite each other, synthesis. Here also synthesis. Guys, take the name from the right side. This this one right take from the right side means here. Citrate synthesis. Okay. Susin susin uh susinal whole enzyme A synthesis. And we end with these two. These two no choice have to remember this way. A conitase. And uh, this is fumaris. Guys, one time, uh, it makes a huge difference. Uh, one more time, uh. Okay, I just clear these two first. Uh, fumaris and then a conitis. Now, this rectangle here, remember all the dehydrogenase, dehydrogenase, dehydrogenase. What do we do next? We use the, we use the substrate as the first name. Isocitrate dehydrogenase, alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, succinate dehydrogenase, malate dehydrogenase. Guys, these are the four enzymes. Then last one here, uh, synthesis, synthesis. Take the one on the right side, immediate right side. Succinal coenzyme A, synthesis, citrate, synthesis. Revision done. Okay. Uh, this is a dehydrogenase also, by the way. Okay, guys, so that's for chapter 5. And with that, let's move to the last topic, which is chapter 6. Uh. So this is what I did with them. Uh, every topic, recap, recap, every single thing, uh, the important ones. Uh. Okay, chapter 6, uh, guys. Hatch and Slack already came out. For, for chapter 6, for chapter 6, now just to relate back to chapter 1, they can ask you paper chromatography, whereby it tests you on the pigments. Huh? Guys, the of late they haven't really asked photo respiration something to do with the phosphoglycolate. They can pass you four or five marks on explanation. Number three, uh, compare C three C four hand plants and. Yeah, like it or not, light dependent, you have to go through light. Light dependent, light independent. Go through once uh, at least. Oops. So. Okay, and the uh, last one, application, guys, roll off. C3, C4, and CAM in high CO2 emission. Okay. But actually, to me, chapter 6 is quite short once you are familiar with the light-dependent reaction. Okay, guys. So that's all for uh, that's all for this session. Okay, I wish you all the best. And if you are to join me in SAM 2, uh, please contact my staff, okay? Please contact my staff. I'm starting right after your math one. Yeah. Because you only time to buy the notes and whatnot. Okay, guys, good luck. Remember, uh, remember, browse through the questions that you have done the last two days, including looking at your exam paper. It hurts, but but what to do, guys? You have to know what mistake you made. Man. Browse through the questions and then read through everything. You can according to the sequencing here, those that require. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you. I'll catch you in the next session. Okay. Bye-bye.